What's up, Blender Savages? So today in uh, Blender Savage, we'll create a low poly house. So everybody's familiar with that uh, basic drawing of a house. Uh, you see kids draw them, you probably drew one yourself. I used to draw this when I was a kid. Uh, sometimes I'd add a plane, I would add a plane in the sky. Uh, but we're gonna go with the 3D look of that right here, low poly house. But uh, we'll try to make it uh, cartoony. All right, so we're gonna start out here with our cube. Uh, we're gonna scale it down. Uh, the reason I want to scale it down because if I hit zero for number pad on the number pad right here, zero for camera view. If I start making this house, it might be too big for the for the camera. Then I got to adjust the camera. So instead, I'll just make the cube smaller, and this way it'll fit inside the camera frame here. This is the camera frame right there. So I'm going to scale it down by half of the size. So to scale it down to half of the size, that's going to be S. So I activate the scale tool. I can try to freehand it and try to guess what's half of the size of that. Or I can hit 0.5 for 50% and then enter. There we go. So once again, that was S, 0.5 enter. So I want to do that, Control Z. And I'll just do that sequence again. So, so that's S, 0.5, enter. There we go. So it went down to half the size. All right. So now I want to make it longer. I'm going to make it longer along the Y axis, which is this green line right here. So I'm going to hit S for scale. Then Y to activate the, uh, the snapping to the Y axis. And then two for two times that. Two, enter. There we go. Cool. So got this nice little log here. So that's going to be the base of my house right there. The bottom part of the house, not including the roof. All right. So now I'm going to take this to edit mode. But first, I want to zoom and center this in front view. So I'm going to hit one on the number pad for front view. There we go. Now I'm looking at the front of the house. And it tells me right here as well, front orthographic. Now I'm going to decimal on the number pad. That'll center right there. Zoom and center. Now I'm going to take it to edit mode. So to go to edit mode, I can go right up here and click object mode and then select edit mode. Or I can hit the tab key. And the tab key toggles between object mode and edit mode. You can see the stuff you're changing. Let me know it's an edit mode. Uh, but from my experience, because I've used Blender so much, I can just tell by looking at the mesh if it's in edit mode. And after a while, you'll be able to tell because you'll see the, uh, the edges highlighted, uh, the vertices or the faces. You'll see those little elements there that tell you what's going on. All right, so next we're going to add a loop cut here. We're going to make a, a part that will become the roof. So I need to add additional geometry here. I want to add a whole edge around here, around the top part. And later I'm going to pull it up. So first, I'm going to hover my mouse over one of the edges. I'm going to hover my mouse over this edge right here, one of the vertical edges. So I'm going to go over this one right here in front view, one for front view. And I haven't clicked on anything yet. I haven't left clicked or right click. I'm going to control R. Cool, look, I got a yellow line right there. If I move my mouse over to this top edge right here, then I got a, a vertical yellow line. But if I go over this vertical edge, then I got a horizontal yellow line. So this uh, yellow line will be perpendicular to whatever edge you're on. I just want one, because if I spin the wheel, I get more, see, spin the wheel on the mouse. I hit the plus sign on the number pad, I get more, but I just want one. I'm gonna hit, um, I'm gonna left click or hit enter one time. There we go, so I committed to one cut, but now I gotta place it somewhere. So I'm gonna slide up about uh, one tenth of a blender unit, one grid mark there in the background, right there. If you're not sure what the grid marks are, it's uh, these little squares back there, back there. So about one away from there. It doesn't have to be perfect, just somewhat from there. It's a cartoony house. We're not going for uh, perfection here, just whatever it looks like that. So I'll do that again. So hover over a vertical edge, control R, left click one time, move the mouse up, and then left click again. There we go. All right, so roofs are pointy. I want something pointy here. So I'm going to add another cut in here. I'm just going to hover over the top. I'm going to hit Control R and then enter two times real quick. There we go. Cool. All right. So I want to pull up the center part here so I can make the pointy roof. I want to be able to pull up uh, these two here and these two back here. Because right now, this whole loop is like that. I want to pull up the whole thing. I don't want to do this. I just want to pull up these two here and the two in the back. But if you notice there, I just drag select these here from front view, but I did not select the ones in the back. So to do that with one stroke, I'm gonna switch over to the wireframe. So to switch over to the wireframe, that's gonna be shift Z for zebra, shift Z, there we go. And so now I can see through it. Now I have the wireframe activated and I can select through it as well. So now if I drag select there, selected the whole thing. Another way to access the wireframe is by hitting the Z key. You get this pie menu or radio menu. There's a the wireframe there. Earlier, we're in, the, we're in solid. These are the viewport shaders. That's how you uh, view your mesh. Hit Z, I'm going to go back over to wireframe. There we go, one in front view. And they're also up here. So you hit the Z key. And if you notice, uh, 
These icons here are just like the ones up there. The wireframe is there. Solid is that one, that filled in bubble. Uh, material preview, it's that one right there. The, uh, it's supposed to be a marble. Looks like a BMW logo or a Black Widow right there. And then a rendered, kind of looks like a bubble. All right, so drag select there, cool. I'm gonna pull this up. I think I'm gonna pull it up by half a blender unit. So let me see here on my handout what I got there. Yes, half a blender unit. So it's gonna be G for grab, activate the grab tool, G, 0.5, oh, Z, enter, there we go. So it's G, Z, 0.5, enter. So by hitting G, you activate the grab tool. Then by hitting Z, you snap it to the Z axis. Z is that blue line going up and down. Now when you uh, pull it, it'll only go up or down. And then 0.5, you tell how far you want to go. So 0.5, you want it to go uh, half a blender unit, 0.5 blender units in the positive direction. And then by hitting enter, you commit to that. So let's do that again. So G, and so all over the place, Z. There we go, now it's only up and down. Wanna go up 0.5, 0.5, and then enter, there we go. Now the tool is turned off as well, and I committed to that change. All right, so now I wanna make the rest of the roof here. So usually roofs, they stick out, right? Kind of stick out of the house. So I'm gonna drag, select so this whole top part here. So I'm gonna hover my mouse outside of the house somewhere up here at the top. Make sure my mouse is high enough to cover this and far enough to cover the side of it here. All right, there we go. Hold down the left mouse button and drag across for a drag selection there. And I'll... all right, so now I want to drag select across the top. I want the uh, the roof to be sticking out, so the roofs uh, stick out, right? So I'm going to hover my mouse over here off to the top left somewhere, or you can also do it on the top right, or down here or down there. Just make sure it's high enough to clear the top here, and uh, out enough to cover the the outside areas here. But you don't want to start down here at the bottom. We don't want to select the bottom. We want to select up here somewhere. So I'm going to hold on the left mouse button and drag across. There we go. Just like that. So not a big giant one. We don't want to get the whole house. We just want to get the top part here. Not low enough that you miss the top there. Nope. You want to go up high enough. You get the top and you get the bottom and you get both sides there. On the bottom of the top there, not down there. There you go. See, so, so we selected the roof area there. Now we're going to scale that out. All right. I'm going to scale it out by um, 1.2. So extrude and scale by 1.2. Uh, so it'd be about a, a fifth more, 20% more. All right, so E to extrude, creates the additional geometry, then S for scale, then 1.2 enter. There we go. ES 1.2 enter. That's what the sequence was. ES 1.2 enter. All right. So the downside of this is kind of, it goes up a little bit, so we're going to bring it down. We're going to bring it down by half a blender unit. So I'm at three for right view so I can see it here. There we go, so it's kind of sticking out there. I don't want that. I'm gonna hit G for grab, then Z, then minus 0.05. There we go, I brought it down right there. You can also just freehand that. You can hit G for grab, then Z, and you just pull it down. You can just do it by hand there as well. There you go, we pull that part of the roof down. Cool, all right. So I'm gonna go back over to the solid viewport shader. And then I'm gonna use a knife tool to uh, draw a door and some windows there draw the window frame and the door frame for my house there all right so shift z go or remember you can just hit z and select one of these but shift z just toggles between the wireframe and whatever viewport you had before so those are the few four viewports there all right uh so first you want to select where you want your door to be so you might want the door there or you want the door there usually the door's right here but i don't have a lot of room here to make additional windows so i'm going to choose the right side here for the door so to do that, I'm not going to position it uh, by just moving my mouse around like this. I'm going to hit three for right view. That'll give me the right view of it right there. Three on the number pad. So you want to do that. You want to hit three on the number pad for right view. You don't want to try to freehand uh, position it like this by holding down the middle mouse button and then moving it around. Because you're not uh, guaranteed you're going to get the right view. Hit three for number pad, then you're definitely in right view. All right, I'm going to draw a door right here. I'm not going to make it perfect. I want it to have that cartoon look. So I'm going to have that lines going uh, kind of like at an angle. So to activate the knife tool, that's K. There we go. See, now my mouse cursor is a little knife. If I move it over here uh, towards the grid, there's uh, just a knife. I put it back over here on the mesh. I get this green square. That's letting me know I can cut in there. So I would recommend starting on an edge or a vertex. In this case, I'm, I'm going to make a door. The door goes all the way to the floor. So I'm going to go down there to the edge. There we go. It's got the edge glowing there. Now I'm going to decide where I want to start the door. So I'm going to go with uh, around here somewhere. I'm gonna left click there one time and then pull the mouse up. See, now I got this uh, purple line, whatever color that is, pink. I'm gonna pull it up 
as high as we want the door frame to be. This could be the inside of the door frame or the outside of the door frame. Uh, however you want to make it. It's going to go up and move it off at an angle a bit, like uh, right there. Left click. And move it over to the right over here. For the top part of the door frame. And angle it a bit. Left click there. And then straight down. Or a little bit off. And then left click right there. All right, cool. So I want to finish off there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit enter and it turns off the tool. There we go. Now I'm going to make the outside of the door frame here. So it's the inside part. So here's my door and then the frame goes around it. I notice I didn't continue here cutting it because if there's already geometry there, you don't want to try to add additional geometry, uh, geometry to it. You just want to start new over here. Make K again. Go to this edge. Left click there and go up. You want to try to foresee uh, uh, where you're going to make the turn, right? So it's going to be about right there. Left click and over here somewhere. Left click, make that one pointy, boom, and bang, bring it down here. Left click there. There we go. And then enter to clip that off. There you go. Cool. Uh, if you don't like that, you can always undo Control Z. And you can start over. Redo is Control Shift Z. Bring it back. There we go. So there we go. I got my uh, my door there and my door frame. Very cartoony. Now I'm gonna make a, a window frame. I'm gonna make one. I'm gonna make some here. But first, I'll make the one on the other side here. So I made one for front view. Now I'll create a door frame here. So we got this edge here. I think it gets in the way. In a way it does, but we're just going to leave it there. So I'm going to hit uh, K for knife. I know it doesn't start with the K sound. Knife, knife. You ever met anybody that said knife? I never met anybody either, but there's always a first for everything. All right, I'm going to start up here. Left click there. And go down over here somewhere. Weird angle. Left click. Out here. Left click. And up here, left click and meet back over here. And if you notice here, the uh, my little square, it changes colors when I'm on another vertex. Let's see, there we go. Left click there and then enter. Cool, complete that loop there. Now that's going to be the, either the inside or the outside of my window. What I want to go with, I'll make that the inside of my window there. It's okay for knife. And I'll start here on the outside somewhere. Left click, left click, left click. Left click and connect the dot over here. Left click, enter, boom. So you can try to make them straight. It's going to be a little more challenging. Or you can just make it fun. Make this uh, crazy looking window here. Like those uh, 90s cartoons. Those horrible, ugly drawn cartoons from Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon. I never liked those, to be honest. Santa Barbara cartoons, I never liked those either. I'm sorry for, I know they got a lot of fans out there, but that, I just didn't like those that style. All right, K, here for the frame. Left click there, left click there, and left click there, enter. Okay, left click there, left click there, and left click there, enter. All right, so that one kind of doesn't line up right there. I'm going to left click that one. Make sure I'm in front view. All right, G for grab. Move it over. There you go, kind of lines up there. If I want to get a straight one, I can just left uh, activate the knife tool. Click right there, drag all the way down, and then left click there, enter. Cool. So I'm going to do that over here as well. Okay. Left click and drag. Left click there. Enter. Okay. Again. Left click there. I guess I can make this a little wider. Left click there. And there we go. This one looks a little too straight. So I'm going to move it over. G for grab. So you pull that around. Uh, it starts moving around. This is not on the handout. We can hit shift V. Let's see. Shift V. Oh, it's not working. Let's see. Oh. So without grabbing it, now hit Shift V. So select the first and Shift V, and you can slide it on the uh, on the edge there. There you go. Cool. It looks more uh, window-like, more weird window-like. Shift V, move that over. I don't like this one at all. Let's see. Yeah, move it more this way. Shift V. I'll just leave it like that. All right. I don't want to overwhelm myself here. Three for right view. And start drawing another window over here. K for knife. Left click. Left click. Left click. Left click. Left click. Enter. And sometimes you get some of these. That's just to account for the uh, the lack of geometry that leads up over here. You can't just have a floating ver ver vertex on a face. So Blender is going to create these extra edges here to connect it to another edge. Over here, you, that didn't happen because we had this edge going down the middle here. But over here, there's nothing there. So I added these in here. 
All right, make sure I'm in right view here. Do the finish off this window. K for knife, left click, left click, left click, left click, left click there, enter, there we go, K for knife, left click there, left click, enter, K for knife, left click there, go up there, left click, enter, K for knife, left click, left click, enter, K for knife, left click there, and left click there, enter, there we go. Window panel there, another window over here. Uh, let's be around there, huh? Let's see. Left click there. And I'll go in or out. Go out. Left click. Left click. Left click there. And left click there. Enter. Now for the inside. OK. Left click there. Left click. Bam. 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 Maybe I shouldn't say bam. I might get sued by Emerald. OK. Left click, left click, enter. K, okay. left click, left click, enter. K, okay. left click, left click, enter. K okay. for knife, knife. Left click, enter. There you go, cool. So my window panel's there. Uh, let me hit zero for camera view. So I'm only seeing this side here, front view and right view, from the camera view. So I'm not going to worry about the back of the house or the side of the house there. That's just up to your imagination of what's back there. All right, so I want to make uh, these frames here pop up. So to do that, I'm going to switch over here to face selection. Their face selection right there, face select. Cool. So now I can select individual faces. If I click on a face here, it selects the whole face. Whereas by default, when you first go to edit mode, it's vertex selection, and you select the individual vertices. And there's edge selection, the middle one right here. You select the whole edge. You can left click it there. If you go to face selection, you select the whole face in one click. There we go. And those are up there next to uh, edit mode up there. So I'm going to select the uh, the faces on one side here. I'm going to start out with this side here. The ones that are going to pop up, I'm going to shoot these out for the frame. So I'm going to make them 3D. Because if I go back to object mode real quick, I can't see that stuff. So I'm going to make it pop up. All right. So I selected that face there, left click that one. I'm going to multi-select the rest of them. So I'm going to hold on the shift key, left click this one there. Left click that one, left click that one, and I have to get these little segments in there. Left click, left click, left click, left click, left click. There we go. Now I'm going to extrude these out by 0 0.05 of Blender unit, so just a little bit. So I'm going to hit E, 0 0.05, enter. If for some reason this went in the other direction, if you got something like this, it's going inside. You don't want that. Just hit the minus key in your number pad, and it'll shoot out. There we go. So, uh, Literally, we're trying to guess, predict what direction you want to go. And um, maybe you did something earlier where it would think you want to go inside the house. So just hit the minus key, and it'll shoot it in the opposite direction. All right, so I'm going to click this one here. Hold on the shift key. Click that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. And that one right there. Uh, so these are all on the same side, so I can extrude them in the same direction. So I'm going to select all these together over here. Uh, this one was on a different side of the house, and this one uh, got extruded along the y-axis, a different direction. These are going to go along the x. So that's why um, I'm extruding these in segments, in separate parts. So this face here and this face over here, this side here. These are going in the same direction, so I can extrude them together. E, 0 0.05, and there we go, bam. Door frame windows, ready to go. Ready to rock. All right, so now I want to color my house. So uh, let's see. What colors do I want to go with? So I'm going to go with the dominant color here first. So whatever color you choose first, it's going to color the whole object, that color. So most of this looks like it's going to be the walls. So I'm going to go over here to the properties panel. Click on material here, the marble. There we go. And I'm going to give this a name. So I click in here once, or over here and click it two times. Then I can rename it there. So uh, whatever color I want to make this wall, I'm going to go with the off-white color. I'm going to call it uh, off-white. I guess I could call it beige, but I honestly don't know how to spell the word beige. All right, so if I click here in base color, so after I do that, I go down here, look look for base color, and there's a white bar, I'm going to click on that. Watch out for the ribbon. Don't click on that one. That's for something else. So just for just one solid color, you're going to click right in here. And then I can play around with this. Got a color wheel there. If you're familiar with RGB codes or hex codes, you can punch them right in there. You can punch in the code in there for the hex code and punch in the uh, RGBA codes for the uh, RGB color. 
All right, so I'm going to go over the color wheel, try to make an off-white color. Uh, this right here is the value. If I bring it up, it's going to make my color brighter. If I bring it down, it's going to make my color darker all the way to black. So let's go off-white, and there we go. All right, so now it's colored that color, but I can't tell. I can't see it. I have to change my viewport. So there's the uh, four viewport shaders. So I have to change my viewport shader. So I'm going to go with Render, the one right here on the far right. I can also hit the Z key and select the one up here, Render. There we go. So earlier I was on solid. And then also I was on wireframe, see through it. So let me go over here to render. There we go. Cool. So I made the whole house that color. Now, since I already have the frames here selected, I guess I'll color the frames next. So I'm going to hold on the shift key. And just as the multi select, you select one face first and hold on the shift key. These are already selected for me. Hold on the shift key and left click that face there, left click that one. And I'm just going to click these here. And these are the ones in view of the camera. Because um, down here, there's faces down here too. I'm not going to bother with those because the camera is not going to see them. And it's probably not going to see that face there either. Just the ones that would be in view of the camera view. Zero for number pad. Sorry, zero on the number pad. And I get the camera view. And then I can tell which ones will be in view of the camera. So there's stuff behind the scenes. Uh, the audience not seeing that. Oh, they can see that one right there. So I'm not concerned about what they can't see. I'm just going to render out the picture. It's not a model that's going to be used in a video game or in a movie or anything like that. It's just for rendering a picture. So I don't got to worry about coloring those other areas there. Save me some time. All right. There we go. So I want to make these, uh, I guess I can go with blue. So to make another color, I'm not going to go in here because that's going to change the existing color I have already. Oh, you don't want to do that, right? Let's see. What was that? Control Z. Oops. Control Z did not undo the color. So I got to recreate the color here. See, get away, get away from that green. I want the pistachio color there. Pistachio ice cream. Mm -hmm. So I love it or hate it type of ice cream, right? I love it. I like it. All right, so on a new material, I'm going to hit the plus sign right here. Plus. Boom. All right, now I can create a new material. So I'm going to click on new right here. All right, I'm going to name this one. I'll call this one blue. I'm going to make those uh, frames blue. Blue. Click out of there. Go down to your base color, and I'll make a blue color. There we go. And let me make it a little darker. There we go. And I can't see it because it hasn't been applied. It's there. It's not applied or anything. So I have to hit a sign right here. It's going to assign it to whatever selected. Assign. There we go. Cool. It still looks kind of weird because all of that stuff is selected. So let me just click out of there. There we go. And uh, select it in here so I can go ahead and play around with it. Maybe make it a little lighter. It doesn't look so so dark. Let's see. Let me make it look fun. Cartoonish. There we go. Now I want to color uh, the roof here, so I'm going to click on this face there, hold on the shift key, click on that face, that face, that face, that one, that one, let's see, this one here, that one there, and to move around like this, just hold down the middle mouse button, left click that one with holding down shift, hold on shift, left click. If you hold on shift and you move the middle mouse button, that's a pan. You can go uh, up and down, side to side, oh sorry, side to side, up and down. Hold on, shift, left click that one. All right. Actually, those are the ones you can't even see, right? Forgot about that. All right. Do for camera view. Cool. All right. So I'm going to make my roof uh, red or, or brown. I'll make it like a reddish brown. So new material plus sign. Click on new. I'm going to call this one. You could also call it roof. I'm just going to call it uh, red brown. And it could be a name. What's up? My name is red brown. Click in here. Go here to the red, and I'm going to, oh, more red. There we go. I'm going to bring this down here. Be kind of brownish. There you go, kind of like a burgundy. Let me move it off to the left. And there we go. Oh, there's a subsurface color. There's color, like, below it. I can make that one red, and it'll it'll kind of come through it, too. There we go. I'm going to hit a sign. And there we go. i got my roof there. Cool. That's a nice-looking roof. I like it. I'm going to color this door. I'm going to color the door red. I'm going to make this door red right here. I like red doors for some reason. So select the face there. Plus sign. New. Name this one red. Uh, click inside the white bar to the right of base color. And I'm just going to make a red color there. Assign. There we go. Bam. So I'm going to make the windows here. Click on that one there. Hold on the shift key. And select the other windows here. There we go. So windows are, uh, the cartoon windows are blue, right? So plus sign, new, and make like a bluish color. Uh, not too uh, not too much like the other one. 
So I can call this one Windows or Light Blue. I'll call it Light Blue. There we go. Uh, you can try to give them a glass property. So you can try to make it look kind of like glass. Go down here to Metallic. Just the number all the way to 1. And then there's roughness right here. Bring it all the way down to 0. And look a little bit more like glass. Let me add a sign. You can see here the material. Let me click on Preview right here. There you go. See, that kind of looks like glass right there. And close preview. There we go. So I deselect that. Cool. Yeah, but because we're making something cartoony, uh, you won't really see a lot of sub reflect off of it. But that'll give you uh, glass properties there. All right. So it still needs something. It still doesn't look cartoony enough. So it still looks pretty blocky, except for these uh, these frames here. That looks cartoony. But the whole house overall doesn't look very very uh, cartoony. So it looks pretty square. Need to try to give it more of a cartoony look. So I'm going to add additional cuts up here. I'm going to hover my mouse over the top edge. Hit Control R. There we go. Spin the wheel. There we go. You can also hit the plus sign on the number pad. You get more cuts. I'm going to go with two. Two cuts there. And then I'm going to hit Enter two times real quick. There we go. Bam. And just cut through there. And cut all the way through there. And I want to pull this down. But I don't want these selected here. So I'm going to hold on the Shift key. And left click that edge. Left click that edge. Left click that edge and left click that edge. So this is why holding that shift key. If something's already selected, you hold on the shift key and select it again, it's going to deselect it. All right, so this, I'm going to pull it down. But instead of just pulling it down, let me show you. I'm at GZ. I pull it down, it kind of just collapses in itself like that. It doesn't look very smooth. I want to instead try to bend the whole house or part of the house, so just the roof part. So I'm going to hit O to activate the proportional editing tool. O key turns it off and on. If you want to know if it's on, look up here. See, I'm going to hit O, and it's going to turn it on. There you go. So it's on because it's blue. And then I've hit O again, it turns off. So O for Oscar. So I'm going to O to turn it on. There we go. I'm going to G for grab. See, so I get this big circle here. I'm going to Z, so I can go all up and down. And see, the house is kind of deforming, too. You can see the frame there. And I can make the circle bigger, deform the whole house. But now it's looking kind of weird, so I want to make the circle smaller. So maybe keep the bottom part of it flat and just bend the top there. Let's see. A little bigger. Yeah, it looks cool right there. Left click. There you go. I'm going to commit to that. Uh, if you don't like it, you can just Control-Z, undo that, and it's, it's done. Control-Shift-Z, redo. There we go. There we go. Uh, so not cartoony enough for me, so I'm going to select this edge over here. I'm going to left click that one. There we go. Off in the end. And G-Z, and pull it up a bit. There you go. A little sharper there. Left click there. I'm going to pull it out along the Y there. G-Y, and pull it out over here. Bam, there we go. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one over here. All right, three for right view. GZ. Maybe not as high as the other one. There we go. And then GY, stick that one out. And there we go. So you were for camera view. Cool, looks cartoony there. All right. All right, so that's good there. So I'm going to go back over to object mode. So I get the tab key, or I can click on edit mode, then object mode. There we go. Cool, look at that. Looks very cartoony. Zero for, uh, for camera view. See what the camera sees there. Nice. Uh, this is looking good so far, except um, they actually look neater if they were casting a shadow on something. It has a shadow there from our light source that we have there. Uh, let's see what it looks like rendered. I'm going to hit F12. I'll render your, uh, your view from the camera view. See, there it is. But it kind of just looks like it's floating in space. So let's give it a floor there so it has something to reflect off of it. All right, so I'm going to bring in a plane shift A, mesh, plane. There you go, the plane's right inside of it. I'm going to hit GZ. And pull it down and have it uh, right below the house so the house is just, just sitting on it. You can go inside of it a little bit. Let's see. Right there's good. So now the house isn't floating on it. We don't want a shadow directly below it. We want the shadow casting off of it over here. Let me zoom out so I can uh, see the camera frame. Zero for camera view. Oops. Zero for camera view again. All right. Now I'm going to scale this plane up big enough so it covers up the whole frame there, the whole camera frame. As for scale. And pull it all the way out. And there we go. Bam. All right. F12, and now we have a little shadow there. Cool, there you go. That's looking good there. So that's pretty much it. You can do other stuff, take it to the next level, and I'll show you that in a bit. But right now, this, this is a low poly house right there. Uh, we can add a tree here. We can add a little trail. We can add rocks. But this, this is good right here. That's a low poly house there. That's good. If you would like to take your project to the next level, you can uh, color the floor here green, kind of like grass. 
green, the greenish color. There we go. I um, mean, have a path coming out the, the front of the door here. So I'm going to take the plane here, Edimo, tab key, seven for top view. I'm using a knife tool. And I can't see the door from here, so Shift Z. There we go. So the door is around here somewhere. K for knife. I'll start in there somewhere and just go out there. There and just enter because I can't see the rest of that. Cool kind of made the path for me there. Okay, for kite. Click in there. Come out over here. Click there. Click there. And maybe you want the path to start going out this way. Click there. Enter. There we go. And okay, for kite. For knife. Click there. Click there. Click there. Enter. All right, cool. Is here for camera view. Cool, the path is in there. Uh, I can see here it's a little bit off, so I'm going to go back to vertex selection. I'm going to select these here, that one, that one. And then I'm going to hit G for grab. Oops, a portion of editing tool on, so I'm going to hit O to turn that off, O for Oscar. There we go. G for grab, and then Shift Z. There we go. I'll just adjust it back in there like that. Cool. Three for right view. Seems to go, nope, not good. Three for right view, then number eight. The decimal key to zoom in the center of that. All right, I want this to be uh, lined up with that, to line up with that. So left and right here is Y, which is forward, back, G, Y. And uh, that's good enough for me right there. Cool. I'm going to zoom out. Uh, I'm going to go back over to solid right here. I'm going to click on this face there. Oops, face selection. Click on that face there. Cool. So I got that face there. And I'm going to color this one a, a brown color. I'm going to go back over here to rendered and give it like a, a dirt color plus sign new uh, i'm just gonna call it dirt and give it like a light a light brown color there we go assign tab key cool oh the house is a little bit above it i can see here g for grab z and there we go a little path z over for camera view there we go maybe you want to add a tree i'll show you how to make a tree real easy here shift a Mesh, cube, humongous cube, as for scale, S key, move inward, G for grab, then Y, move it over. I'll make this taller along the, along the Z. I may make it thinner still, S for scale, there we go. Now S, Z, there we go. You got a tree there, see for camera view, don't want the tree there, may I want it over there. Let me see, G, Y, put it over here. S for scale, want it thinner, let me make it taller, S, Z. All right, and now I'm going to bring over um, an Eichel sphere. But first, I'm going to take it to edit mode, tap you for edit mode. There we go. And I'm going to drag select the top here. Oops, space selection's on. As for scale, let's make it a little thinner towards the top. There we go. Now I'm going to bring in an Eichel sphere, but it's going to come out over there. I want it to come out directly there. It's going to come out wherever the, wherever the 3D cursor is at. So that's going to be Shift S. And cursor to select in, it's going to move it over here. You might select that option. So Shift S is the snap menu. And I show cursor to select in. I have that top face there selected. So now when I bring something in, it's going to pop up right there. So Shift A, Eichel Sphere. There we go. Cool. S for scale, make that smaller. GZ, pull that up. And around there, maybe make it bigger. There we go, a tree there. I'm going to color that tree green. So I'm going to go over here to New. I'm just going to call it brush. And it's going to be a different shade of green than that. It's going to make, make it a darker green. There we go. Made the whole tree green. But I want to make this uh, brownish color. So I clicked on this face there. I have the mouse on here and I'm going to hit L for Larry. There we go. I select the whole trunk. And let's go with that brown right there. I already have that brown created. So I'm going to hit the plus sign. Instead of clicking on you, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to click on dirt. I think that's what I named it. There we go. Assign. Cool. Let me hit the tab key. There we go, tab key again. I can try to take this to the next level by making a duplicate of this little brush here. L key, Shift D, Y, S for scale, B for right view. There we go, G for grab, S for scale. Shift D, pull one up here somewhere. R for rotate, R, Y. So this is not necessary, it's just if uh, Want to take your uh, your projects to the next level? So the house is there. Just give your uh, 
tree here is a little more character. Shift D Z. As for scale, G Y. There we go. G X. Move it back. And then Shift D Z. Pull that up over here somewhere. Tab key. Cool. Looks like a good tree there. I can actually duplicate this. Shift D. Y. Pull it over here. Maybe make a smaller S for scale. And then rotate it so it doesn't look exactly like that one. R Z. And from a different angle. Like right there. Uh, looks kind of weird on that side. So R Z. Rotate it some more. There we go. Make a duplicate of that one. Shift D X. Back over there. R Z. Slight rotation this way. Go. Maybe pull one right next to it. Shift D Y. Oops, X. And R Z. There we go. Uh, another thing you can do, um, the icosphere, you can just make a long one. So I'm going to bring in an icosphere again. Shift A. Icosphere. It's going to pop up right over there. G X. Bring it over here. And then S for scale. And then X. Sorry, S. And then Z. Make it tall. Make it kind of like a pine tree. G Y. Bring that over there. And G X. Oops, G, X, there we go. Make that one green. I already have that green over there, so I'm going to click right here. This is my, uh, my materials list. Brush, there we go. There it is. And I just need to bring in uh, another cube to make the stock of it there, the trunk. Shift A, mesh cube. There we go, G, Y, put it over there. Set for top view, so I can try to see it better. There we go. Decimal key, zoom in center of that. S for scale, bring it in. G for grab right there, that's for scale. That looks good. G for right view. G, Z, pull it down. S to Z. There we go. Yeah, it's still think it needs to be thinner. That's for scale. There we go. And then S, Z, make it taller. All right. I'm going to use that brown color over there. Click in here. And that was the dirt color. Now these are two separate objects. Uh, these are one object because I brought in the atmosphere in edit mode. If you bring something into edit mode, another object, it becomes part of that uh, other object in object mode. Select the trunk here and select that one there. Control J for join. There we go. I'm going to bring this down some more GZ. There we go. See for camera view. Cool. So you can leave it like that. Uh, you can try to add more stuff in there. But there you go. Uh, oh, you can do a chimney too. Shift A, cube. You know, S for scale, G Y put it back there somewhere. Then S Z make it tall. There we go. And G X put it back here. G Z bring it down. There we go. And it's inside the house. Uh, somewhat. Over here you can't really tell from the camera view. It's gonna make it red. I already have red for that door. I'll use the same one there. There you go. Cool. So I'm gonna F12 to render that out. And there you go. You got a nice cute uh, low poly house with some trees there. I would probably add some more trees back here, maybe a little rock in here or something, add a little more texture to it. But there it is. Is that easy? I know it went fast on the trees, but uh, the tree is really easy to make. Uh, you can spend a lot of time trying to make them a little more detailed. But there it is. Uh, thank you for watching. Have an awesome day.